YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be continuing with our sign history series. The sign history series over there that we'll be talking about in this video is having your moon fall into your partner's fifth house. So before we get into it, I just want to remind you guys to please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And if you do like the video, please also do hit that like button and leave us a comment in the comment section down below to let us know what you think. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get into this video. This is a pretty lovely sign history overlay to have with someone. Just because it can really go a long way in establishing a emotional bond as well as a romantic and fun connection. The moon person in particular tends to be very pleased with their house partner. They really admire their house partner. And they even sometimes may sing praises of their house partner just because they think very fondly of their house partner and they hold them in quite high regard and they just really, really admire their house partner. These two partners just have a very great way of lifting each other's moods. The moon person really values the house person as a source of sunshine in their life. A particular strength of the moon person in this connection is that the moon person has um, this ability of being very comfortable with expressing their emotions when dealing with this overlay. In this overlay, the moon person has a great way of introducing emotional openness to the connection because the moon person has this way of just being emotionally open. They let their guard down when they're with the house person and this actually really help influences the house person as well. And the house person really appreciates the moon person because of this. And they just really, they appreciate the moon person because the moon person also has a way of just making the house person feel really good about themselves. When they're with the moon person, they feel very good about themselves. So it's safe to say that when these two partners come together, they can just be an emphasis on some there could be an igniting of some really feel-good vibes and energies. There tends to be a lot of warmth and fun moments with this overlay. The partners may just really enjoy um, spending time together, you know, and going out on dates and romantic outings together. However, in some cases, it is possible that um, there could be a little bit of a parent-child dynamic that could manifest as a result of this overlay in the relationship. This could sometimes be the kind of couple that could, if they're not careful, easily find themselves playing house together, where one partner might find themselves falling into a role of being the more parentified one when it comes to relating to their partner. And so the problem with this could be that the more parentified partner might be left feeling a bit emotionally neglected as they care for their partner in a similar way that a parent cares for their child. However, in return, they don't receive that same level of care in return. And something like this could easily ignite feelings of loneliness or isolation. So the partners should just be careful of that. However, in a more positive case scenario, what could end up happening instead of a parent-child dynamic is that what could manifest is a couple that just really has a very strong desire to want to have children together. Another lovely thing about this overlay is that th this, these two partners tend to really have a great ability of inspiring one another especially in terms of creativity and creative expression. Establishing an emotional connection with this overlay is not too difficult and the partners tend to really enjoy both the emotional side and the fun side of the connection. One potential downside that could happen in a more negative case scenario where the moon is perhaps negatively aspected, what could happen is that since the fifth house is of course the Leo house and it's ruled by the sun, there could be a bit of a, a dramatic flair to this overlay. One partner may be sometimes a bit insensitive towards the emotional responses of the other partner, such that they may fail to take it seriously 
or even just straight out accuse the partner of being dramatic whenever they express their emotions or um, when they express themselves emotionally. And this can be very hurtful. So the partners should just be careful of that too. Okay, that does it for this video on having your moon fall into your partner's fifth house. We hope you've enjoyed the video and if you did like it, please do hit that like button. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll be continuing with our Sinistry series. So please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And leave us a comment in the comment section down below to let us know what you think. Anyway, this is where we love and leave you guys. Hope you have a good one guys. <laughs> See you next time. Bye guys.